Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihil karim. Ram Tugu Zafrul menteri dan pasukan yang mempersiapkan rencana industri yang bermakna bagi Malaysia. Saya memang mulakan dengan beliau dan timbalannya Jintong dan juga KSU-nya Isyam kerana saya ikuti perkembangan dari awal mendengar taklimat mereka dan harus memulakan dengan menyatakan penghargaan kerana kita sedia dengan satu plan yang menunjukkan ada keupayaan, kemahiran melakukan anjakan dalam perancangan untuk Malaysia akan datang. Jadi sekali lagi terima kasih. Saudara Timbalan Perdana Menteri Datuk Seri Zahid dan rakan-rakan Menteri Seluruh Jaya Tinggi dan tetamu yang saya muliakan. Seperti mana saya sentuh dan singgung, dengan ekonomi madani kita bertekad untuk memacu pertumbuhan. Dan keduanya, memastikan bahawa ada anjakan dari segi pendekatan. Dan pada hari ini, dengan semangat Hari Merdeka semalam yang luar biasa, sambutan dan minat rakyat untuk melihat Malaysia yang lebih maju, yang lebih berketerampilan dan lebih hebat. Pada hari ini, saya mendapat kesempatan untuk bersama-sama untuk meluncurkan satu perancangan pembangunan industri yang baru bagi Malaysia. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the new industrial master plan 2020-2030 or NIMP 2030 is a key component of economic madani as it will support the realization of economic reforms. It will revitalize the manufacturing sector to ensure Malaysia remains resilient amidst growing challenges and mega trends. The NIMP is designed to, to drive Malaysia's trajectory as a global leader in industrial development, extend the domestic linkages to create wealth across the nation, as well as strengthen its position in the global value chain. The plan is timely to expedite the transformation of industries in Malaysia, aligning them with the country's vision. The manufacturing sector stands as a pivotal force to propel Malaysia's economic growth and development, being a significant contributor to the nation's GDP, providing employment for 2.7 million individuals. We must therefore seize the opportunity to expand our base as Malaysia is now well positioned to capitalize on three global trends. Firstly, the global geopolitical situation has driven companies to turn to Southeast Asia as the plus one destination to ensure economic security and supply chain resilience. This unlocks opportunities for Malaysia to further integrate into the global value chain. We can leverage on our mature industrial infrastructure with good connectivity, strategic location, and reputation as one of the top destinations for innovation and doing business. Secondly, we need to accelerate our digitalization efforts to stay ahead in the post-pandemic era, as well as step-up efforts to develop high-skilled talent and enhance TVET programs. These initiatives will empower the Malaysian workforce to enhance efficiency and accelerate innovative capability, thereby creating a larger pool of skilled human capital for the nation. And thirdly, in facing the challenges of climate challenge, climate change, we need to adopt sustainable practices, especially 
the ESG sensitive markets to create new growth opportunities in green manufacturing, electric vehicles, and carbon capture, utilization, and storage, CCUS. Ladies and gentlemen, unlike the previous industrial transformations and three industrial master plans since 1986, as alluded to by Tungu Zafro, the NIMP 2030 adopts a mission-based approach, a departure from the sectoral approach in the past. It is a horizontal policy with well-defined missions that will governize not only the entire manufacturing ecosystem, but also the whole of nation to drive industrial transformation and realize our vision. With a short window of seven years, the NIMP 2030 must take a transformative and expeditious approach to achieve the goals. Based on rigorous assessment and extensive consultations, four missions have been formulated to drive industry transformation at a large scale. Mission one is to advance economic complexity where industries will be encouraged to innovate and produce more sophisticated products. This will enhance the competitiveness of our nation in the global market. Mission two is to tack up for a digitally vibrant nation. By embracing technology and digital transformation, we can drive innovation, enhance productivity, and create new opportunities for economic growth. Mission three is to push for net zero. This mission emphasizes our commitment to address climate change by striving for a net zero future. Through sustainable practices and green initiatives, we aim to reduce carbon emissions and build a resilient and environmentally friendly economy. This mission is aligned with the initiatives under the National Energy Transition Roadmap, NATR, which I recently launched. Mission four is to safeguard economic security and inclusivity. This mission aims to create an enabling environment that ensures supply chain security, supports SMEs, and promotes equitable participation in economic activities in all states. These missions will be supported by four key enablers to overcome systemic and institutional challenges. These enablers include addressing financing challenges, nurturing talent development and acquisition, improving the investor journey, and enhancing governance mechanisms. To provide the impetus for immediate rollout of NIMP implementation, several mission-based projects, MBPs, have been identified. These ground-running projects are expected to accelerate the development of an inclusive ecosystem that integrates SMEs into value chain and rally the entire industry. The NIMP will see more MBPs in the near future as we expect the industry to embrace this new approach and realize the benefits it brings to the company and the spillovers it creates to the economy. Ladies and gentlemen, to establish, to establish greater economic integration with our neighboring countries, the NIMP 2030 plans to establish stronger cooperation and collaboration with our neighbors for a more resilient supply chain with the pursuit of vertical integration of selected industries across the ASEAN countries. It bears stressing the importance of FDIs as they indirectly increase 
the DDIs, the Domestic Direct Investments. As multinational companies based in Malaysia will source products and services from local companies. Strategic DDIs also have potential to attract more FDIs as investors consider DDIs as a benchmark for domestic investors' confidence and commitment towards strengthening the nation's investment and business landscape. Recognizing the importance of ESG considerations and its role in reforming the economic landscape, the NIMP has dedicated the entire chapter Push for Net Zero as part of its missions. This aims to decarbonize Malaysia's industries to achieve net zero emission goals through proactive measures such as implementation of energy efficiency and waste management initiatives, rapid renewable energy and technology adoption, supported by a robust regulatory framework. Now, to ensure inclusivity, the NIMP 2030 will also create opportunities for Malaysian SMEs to grow in manufacturing. Our SMEs in, manu in the manufacturing sector can currently contribute only 8% of GDP and 9% to exports. There's a lot of potential to grow our SMEs in manufacturing in line with our economy Madani aspiration to strengthen firms of all sizes. The NIMP 2030 has, for example, specific action plans to build SMEs' capacities to enable them to be positioned higher in the global value chain. This, in turn, will help them scale up into mid-tier companies that could help Malaysia earn more foreign exchange earnings. Further, I understand that MITI also has a framework that will be launched in a few weeks' time to build SME's ESG capacity. This is important to ensure SME's continued participation in ESG-compliant MNC vendor ecosystems and continued access to ESG-sensitive export markets. Ladies and gentlemen, the Economy Madani and NIMP 2030 are both aligned in their focus to improve the lives of the rakyat with the expected higher returns from the country's economic targets. This includes employment with meaningful wages and wealth sharing to build a more equitable and prosperous society. This creation of high-value job opportunities is crucial to uplift and expand middle-class society. Global megatrends, such as the rising role of Industry 4.0 technologies, climate change and sustainable practices, demographic shifts, and globalization of value chains are changing the nature of jobs. Skills transformation is key to develop future competencies, and this has been set as a focus of our industrial strategy. To meet industry's demands, we will implement a progressive wage system that promotes skill development and career, career advancement. <clears throat> Public-private collaborations will be enhanced in TVET and STEM programs, ensuring the acquisition of skills required by the industry. The government is confident that the strategies in the NIMP 2030 will yield meaningful outcomes and produce big impact to the national economy. Specifically, the NIMP 2030 aims to increase the manufacturing's value added to 587.5 billion ringgit 
by 2030, growing by 6.5% from what it is today. This in indicates an increase of 61% derived from NIMP 2030 interventions for high-impact sectors, ENE, chemical, EV, aerospace, pharmaceutical, and advanced materials such as minerals and metal. In terms of employment, as projected growth at 2.3% from 2023 is expected, providing livelihood for 3.3 million persons by 2030. The industry's growing employment trajectory is due to the creation of high-skilled jobs as the country advances towards high-value-added activities and improvement in automation and technological advancements. What is most important is the projection that through NIMP's interventions, the median salary for the manufacturing sector is expected to grow by 9.6% to reach 4,510 ringgit from 1,976 ringgit, which is below the national average, despite the sector's dominant role in the national GDP. This 128% increase from 2021 is driven by the shift of the industry towards high-value-added activities and high-skilled job opportunities created. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey to transform the industry requires swift action by all. Implementation is crucial to convert the NIP 2030 into tangible actions and measurable outcomes. Hence, the NIMP will be implemented through a whole-of-nation approach that not only involves the government machinery, but also the private sector by working collaboratively to achieve the vision and goals. We will form a dedicated National NIMP 2030 Council with the participation of relevant ministries and, and industry representatives. Public-private governance will be established to ensure timely and effective implementation. A delivery management unit, the MU, under the MITI, will be set up to coordinate all efforts and drive cohesive implementation across stakeholders. The government is fully committed to support the implementation of NIMP 2030. It will require an estimated total investment of 95 billion ringgit through its seven years, predominantly from the private sector mobilized from private equity, capital and financial markets. Close to 10% be allocated by the government to help catalyze and incentives incentivize these investments via the NIMP Industrial Development Fund and the NIMP Strategic Co-Investment Fund. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday we celebrated Hari Kebangsaan with the theme Malaysia Madani, Tekad Perpaduan, Penuhi Harapan. I strongly believe that there is hope for a better, more dignified Malaysia. I'm also confident, inshallah, that the NIMP 2030 will help us fulfill that hope by providing the necessary guidance and clear direction for the development of the manufacturing sector to strengthen its position as a key driver to national economic growth and prosperity. The government will ensure that the plan is carried out diligently and benefit 
not only the private sector through with better investment and trade prospects, but also the people through high skill and high income job opportunities. I need to stress that the vision of NIMP 2030 can only be successfully realized if we work together in unity towards achieving the missions. It is only with the commitment for unity that we can fulfill our hopes for the country. With that, dengan lafaz bismillah rahman rahim, saya dengan segala sukacitanya meluncurkan New Industrial Master Plan 2030. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.